Yo, what's going on, beautiful people, man? Welcome to another behind the scenes in frame. We have the lovely Danny, man. Um, we was able to get together in Florida. That's the hometown, St. Petersburg. That is. Yeah, we got together in Florida. I want to say, uh, I don't can't remember was it late last year or early this year. I feel like twenty in the twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two beginning has blended together and. You know, we, we, we've just been here too long. But anyways, man, yeah, we was at Honeymoon Beach, decided to not got a nice little swimsuit uh, photo, man. Um, reached out to her on, uh, I think, IG, or maybe I posted up, was just looking for somebody to shoot since I was in town. And she she reached back, man, and I'm glad that we connected, man. And um, we started off in this little area over here, and I was trying to use the reflector, but I also was utilizing the long lens, the uh, 70 to 200. And, um, you know, I was getting some shots, man, utilizing the gold side. Um, and these are some of the images that we came up with. And um, what I like to do whenever I'm working with somebody, especially for the first time, is always start nice and tight and close. The purpose of that is I want to make sure that, you know, we, we work on expression and, and warming them up to the camera and stuff like that. And then, you know, let them get into their get into their groove and everything. <laughs> And then we went out to another area. We was, we was on the beach. It's kind of, I'm trying to explain how Honeymoon Island is. Um, there was like this little water area if you see to the right. The beach is over to the left. But we kind of wanted to be away from everybody else. So we was just over here in our own little moon landing area, as I like to call it. <laughs> but yeah, she was, she was killing it, man. Um, every time I was, you know, clicking, and we had this discussion before, you know, every time she heard that shutter go, you know switch it up little micro movements and stuff like that and just trying to capture a moment capturing some vibes um you know utilizing natural light something that i don't typically do all the time is shoot natural light and i've been trying to shoot more of but you know and, and here are some more of the images that we captured i like this pose that she was doing there i kind of edit these on a the more warmer side actually i did something different with the edit and i kept everything like i didn't do any skin retouching on this i wanted to keep things natural for some reason I'm not really sure why I did that, but, you know, I was like, man, I want to keep it as natural as what I captured. That's one of, the, one of my favorite shots right there. And another one, so. But, yeah, y'all, make sure y'all check out her page, man. She was, um, she's got some beautiful, beautiful work, uh, good energy, dope soul to work with. And, uh, yeah. we was getting ready to set up another yeah we we rocked a little bit more there uh i think i was trying to get that shot again better but y'all already seen the results of that photo you know you gotta tell the model get on them tippy toes man creating those angles and those beautiful lines yo Yeah, we knocked out some more like clothes and tight portraits right there. And yeah, man, just take note how she's moving, man. Especially if you're a model or aspiring model, you know, just those those micro movements and stuff and those facial expressions that she was giving, man. That's that's life. That's what I look for. That water was not, um, it didn't seem the most pleasant. <laughs> I think that, I feel like that water was stagnant. Um, but, you know, for the sake of the shot, I did, you know, get in the water a little bit. Oh, I thought I flipped this footage. I'm sorry about that, guys. There we go. And as you can see the position where her shadow is, you know, we were having her face into the sun. I want to say it was probably around like 11, 12 o'clock, something like that um, when we shot. So the sun was pretty high in the sky. Well, not really because of the angle of the sun. It could have been around like 10 or 11. But uh, you can tell from the angle of the sun, we were facing her, you know, into the sun so that the light can hit her very, very well. These are some good shots, too. I, I like these shots. Um, there was some where she was just kind of looking away from the camera, you know. Um, I like the movement that she was doing, you know, kind of leaning into the shot and everything and stuff like that. And we, we really wanted some 
some clouds in the sky but it was just one of those very very clear beautiful florida days and that's what we had to rock with but it still made a good beautiful contrast with the the pretty blue clear skies the uh the sand and everything in the beach area along with her skin tone as well as the uh, white bathing suit i think all of that worked out great and here's some of them shots yeah i like that shot definitely dope Keeping it nice and tight. I'm always gonna snag a nice and tight portrait. Man, very fire, very fire. So we worked all of those things in the beginning and we knew we wanted to kind of get close into the water, but not like submerge or anything like that. So we say that for the last, cause you know, bathing suit was gonna get wet a little bit. So and this is us getting ready to, getting set up to go and do that. Um, just talking about finding the position, um, facing into the sun, you know, so we get the best light, the most complimentary light and stuff like that. And even though it was harsh, like some people consider this harsh light and it is um, it is unforgiving on some people. But some skin tones, man, it just it just works out. Some skin, it just works out. You get those beautiful, beautiful light. And like I said, these images, I didn't do any. Um, I didn't do no skin retouching on these images. These are kind of just, you know, some little little color grade playing with some color and a little vibe and and, and that was it and check out the little storks stork feet <laughs> yeah we were I think we were going for the reflection shots here. And I was waiting for the water to be still a little bit, but we, we snapped some. I'm, I'm just a fan of the 70 to 200. Like that's, it's gonna be my favorite lens. Um, and had I known, oh wait, here, here's some of those shots. Boom. Those came out great. I like the compression that the 70 to 200 gives. She was serving some looks, definitely, man. Yep, yep. Another banger right there. I like the reflections of the water. Good stuff, man. Hey, you know what? That's the video, man. Thank you guys for checking it out and rocking with me. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.